from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Welcome. I'm Anne McLean from the Library's Music Division. We're really delighted to present this masterclass today with Paolo Pandolfo, a tremendously gifted artist with whom we've developed a relationship. I imagine probably a few of you heard his concert here last year and didn't forget it, and you know he's appearing here tomorrow. It is sold out, our two o'clock matinee is sold out, but it might be worth a chance to come a little early to drive for a standby ticket. So I'd like to say also that We've enjoyed for a long time a relationship with the Institute of Italy and the Italian Cultural Institute. <coughs> and it's through Alberto Manai, the director of the Institute, that we are able to present this class today. Please take a moment to turn off your cell phones. Um, also, please be careful if you have to leave. The seats bang and they make a big noise, and we want to avoid that for the video. Um, I've been asked to say that the cloakroom closes at 4.30, it, so sorry, closes at 5, so just be aware, we're going to try and end the class at 4.45 with a little Q&A, but we'll be uh, wrapping that up around 5 at the very latest. So again, thank you for coming. I'd like you to give a very warm welcome to Paolo Pandolfo.
challenging situation. <laughs> big hole. So, congratulations. Yeah, have you been playing the violin a long time? Um, I've been playing the bass for over a year. Um, the bass is the violin? The the, just bass? the bass, the treble I've been playing. The bass violin, not, yeah. not about the bass. <laughs> okay. What about when you Oh, the treble? No, no, no. Say the bass violin, what about when you Yeah, yeah. And before you, you went, started before with the. Um, I started before with the treble for mm -hmm. about four years. So. So only violins? Um, I started with the piano. This is my first string Okay. Yeah, good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, many things. Do you have a score for him? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Maybe not so much. Maybe not that much. Let's see. I can take your place. Sure. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
this is, looks like a good book method, but in fact it is much less effort than mm -hmm. yeah. this. So part of the problems that we find in our work with this instrument is how big this angle, this whole thing is. So we there are ways to reduce this. This is one. And if we don't do this, we are stuck and we have to be big and slower movements. This is much faster than this. Thank you. 
complain if you tend to this. There's a tendency to, I, I see very often your little finger like this. Now, it should be very round, as round as possible, as oft as possible. This should be really an exception. The, 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 the little finger like this. Yeah? So you can.
now it's not a fee. So it's, and you should.
very good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Now, if a string is ringing, and then something like that, that's it. So, if you want to make a sound, you, you must do this. Produce a sound and then free the string. If you keep the bow on the string, you do. Unless you do uh, one the Thank <laughs> you. 
with the <laughs> the dance of the elephants. Right. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> this this part I had tremendous problems getting. <laughs> problems with the just the bow coordination. And yeah. The, the, I, I can give you a tip about that. Let me just say something. Uh, a little about dynamic. Um, a, li a, a little bit, but not not so much. Only one part in the piece I thought I would play softly. Um, but if you have a, the same figure repeating going down, or the same figure repeating going up, it's a it natural it. thing to to do. What harpsichordists don't have the possibility of. Uh huh. No? They can just change. Yes, they have this combination. One, two, three, four. Finished. And uh, now, that's it. But we have more. So I would say if you have a, a line going up and a line going down at the beginning, right? <laughs> Stop here and you come here. And, or you go, you go and you go. Okay. Try it. Okay, try it. Just uh, you can see it. it it's written there because if the sun if the light goes, just just as simple as you see it. always be 
to it, do it. Somewhere.
on it, not just to read it the last time. Uh, uh, Changes. <laughs> 
very many of them to to the violence in the experience. Because for Lutz, this song, the boy gang, it's not like flamenco. And it is easy. It's supposed to be. And, uh, what can you do with this? You can get light, basically. So those, those, those fasteners are lights, vocal lights. And vocal lights go up and down. They have hills and valleys and mountains and valleys. <laughs> So careful, don't think that fasteners are just fasteners, they are lines. They are lines that you have to bring the energy in a very fluid way. Now I see the process when you get in this point, very beginning of the Sound that you would imagine. 
Play it again. Okay, but I would imagine more vocal. Did I do something wrong? 
Bonao.
One more question. Sorry? I guess not. Thank you very much. We have to unfortunately be out of the library at five. So we'd love to talk, but we have to get our stuff ready. Thank you so much for coming today. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.